Long after the reign of the dinosaurs, a new predator emerged from the shadows. Imagine a creature unlike anything you've ever seen, with razor-sharp teeth and a powerful bite. Meet the Sebicida, the colossal carnivores that dominated the Earth millions of years ago. These weren't your average reptiles. They were the undisputed kings of the land, dwarfing even the largest predators of today. But how big were they, and what secrets do they hold about the prehistoric world? The Sebicida family is made up of dead Sebicosuchian crocodilomorphs that lived on land in the late Cretaceous and Cenozoic periods in Europe and South America. They were the most recent group of non-crocodile crocodilomorphs to survive. Ogrusuchus ferritus, which was found in the upper Cretaceous Tremp formation, is the oldest member of the group that we know of. In Europe during the Eocene, there are other records of the group. There were many different kinds of Sebicids living in South America during the Cenozoic, from the Paleocene to the Middle Miocene. Some types may have even lived until the border between the Miocene and Pliocene in Brazil. This group had a lot of medium and large-sized genera, from Sebicus to the Miocene giant Barinosuchus, which was six meters long. Each member of the Sepicida family has certain traits that set it apart from other crocodile groups. One feature that stands out is the long nose, which is different from the wider, stronger snouts found in many modern crocodiles. This longer nose probably helped with a different way of eating, maybe one that was better for catching certain kinds of food. Sebicids also have heterodont dentition, which means that their teeth are different shapes and serve different purposes in the jaw. This variety of teeth suggests that they specialized in certain foods, with some teeth better for grabbing and others better for cutting or breaking. Also, members of the Sebicida family usually have longer arms than other crocodiles, which suggests that they have evolved to move around on land more easily. The Sebicida family is different from other crocodiles because of these important physical traits. Sebicida was an ancient family of crocodiliforms that had a variety of physical traits that helped them do well in their specific settings. One of the most interesting things about their bones was how long and smooth their bodies were, making them look a lot like current alligators. This body shape suggests that they have evolved to move quickly through water, making it easy for them to get around. Also, the bones and the limbs of different kinds of Sepicidae were changed by changes. Some species, like Sebicus acaeorhinus, had relatively long arms compared to their body size, which could mean they were better at moving around on land. These changes probably let them hunt for food on land and move quickly and easily when they needed to. The shape of Sebicidae's heads and teeth tell us a lot about what they eat, and what role they play in the environment. One thing that made Sebesida heads stand out was their long snouts, which held a lot of strong teeth. These teeth were usually shaped like cones and had sharp tips, which means the animal ate meat. Different species had different arrangements of teeth in their mouths. Some had heterodont dentition, which means that different types of teeth were used for different tasks, like grabbing or puncturing food. Also, the way the skulls of Sebicida animals are built says that they have developed strong jaws that allow them to hit their food hard and knock them out. Limb shape was very important for Sebicida animals to move around, showing that they were able to live in both water and land. By looking at fossilized leg bones, scientists can see that they have different features that were designed for different ways of moving. For animals that lived mostly in water, like Barinosuchus arvaloa, the arms were small and strong which probably helped them swim and move around in the water. Instead, species like Sebicus acaeorhinus had longer arms with well-developed joints and muscles that made it easier for them to move quickly on land. These species may have been more terrestrial in nature. The different shapes of their limbs show that Sebicidae were adaptable hunters that could live in a variety of environments, from wetland areas to open fields, where different ways of moving around helped them hunt and stay alive. The crocodiliform family Sepicidae, which is now dead, was an important part of their habitats as the top hunters. Based on fossils, these animals probably ate a variety of foods, which changed based on their size, where they lived, and the kinds of animals that were available to eat. The shape of their teeth shows that they have changed in many ways to catch and eat different kinds of food. Some species in the genus Sebicidae had strong, sharpened teeth that could tear through tough meat. This suggests that they ate big animals like other lizards, small dinosaurs, and early mammals. Others had curved teeth that were good for breaking and holding, which meant they liked smaller food like fish, frogs, and small animals. 
some fossilized Sebicidae individuals have gastrolites in them, which suggests that they may have eaten stones to help them digest, like crocodiles do today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content exploring the wonders of our planet's past.